Hi, this is Joseph Proffer of Talk Android. I'm going to be reviewing a third-party launcher called SF Launcher 2 by Jack Thacker. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing your last name. In this launcher, we can kind of see that it's very similar to Google's Google Now app, providing you with notification cards in a vertical scroll. And these notification cards, of course, not notifications, but really widgets and little cards that contain icons for your apps. To add icons, you just hold down so you can add to a current list or you can create a new one by going to the space in between. From there you can modify the notification card by swiping from the right Let's say we want to change its position to below the card below it. Or if we want to change how many icons appear in the notification card, we can change the columns, which does change the size on the icon itself. And let's say that we want to remove it, just simply hold down, drag to the top banner. Adding widgets is also fairly simple. Just go up to the top right, add widget. Let's just add a clock. It, when you add a widget, it does, however, cr create it at the very bottom. And we can move that up to the... So when you click that, it actually allows you to resize the widget. And then when you're done with that, just click the back button or not. Click the home button. And there we go. Let's say I want to move it up. And let's say I just want to remove it altogether. There's also a lot of color theming that you can do in this app, which I think is pretty cool. So the color schemes that come up is using Google's new material design palette. Let's say we want to try teal, and that'll change the card itself. This does work on widgets as well. The other thing I think is really cool is the banner at the top. So the banner at the top uses the images from Google Now, and there's the, the image itself changes during each time of the day. So morning, during the day, evening, and at night, you get a different version of each image, and it changes automatically. And you can change that by going over to Launcher Settings, the header image. And you can see all the different headers that are available. And you also change the theme, like a light theme. As you can see, some stuff doesn't appear because I have it set up for that dark theme. You also change the header style. Now this uh, creates something very similar to Google Now by adding in information inside of that top banner. So if you wanted to look exactly like Google Now, you want to do the search bar. And see, so you can see over in the top left, it includes the hamburger symbol which when you click, it will, opens up that side app drawer. This launcher does support icon packs, as you notice from my, my original screen, my home screen.
So not only will it change the icons on the screen itself, but it will also in the app drawer. You can also change the orientation. You can have it automatic, portrait, landscape. So on smartphones, it doesn't really look good in landscape mode. On tablets, which this launcher does also run, it looks okay in landscape, but this app really shines when it's in portrait. And you can actually resize the widgets um, to have them fill the screen. There's like a settings in there that'll just let you do that automatically versus I don't even know if you can change it from right there. You know. There's that setting, fit cards to screen width. And you can change the background color of the screen or of the notification cards to automatically match the background. You can also allow scrolling widgets. So if you add in like a calendar, you can continually scroll through the calendar. But as it, as it says, it can cause issues. It's kind of when you're trying to maybe swipe down quickly across your vertical scroll on the launcher itself. If your thumb hits one of those vertical scroll widgets, you'll break the vertical scrolling of the uh, actual notification cards and get stuck inside of that widget. So I leave it off. And here's the app drawer. You can change the app drawer color. Here's that palette again with the material design colors by Google. Or you can have a translucent app drawer. And then finally, you can set a wallpaper. This wallpaper is not the banner. This wallpaper actually will be on the back of the app drawer. And by app drawer, I mean the uh, back gray background right here, not the app drawer. So we can see the widgets function really well inside of inside of the uh, notification cards. This music widget right here is actually also created by Jack Thacker. It's Jack Thacker music widget. So yeah, my overall impressions is that this launcher functions really nice. It's actually become my daily launcher that I use constantly. I really liked Flow Home Launcher, but I kind of was just bombarded with social media and it really, I couldn't get straight to the things that I really wanted to see. They're working on adding widget support and things like that. They've already added widgets, but it's very rough and very beta. But this app really, it just really gives me kind of what I want immediately, which I really appreciate. It allows lots of customization. And there's definitely, Jack is definitely has an eye for artistic design and lets you customize a lot of the things yourself. There's just an overall good quality of life with with a lot of these widgets and how he's gone about adding support for people who really like to tweak things to their liking. So overall, I couldn't recommend this app enough. It's really good if you want something different than your standard home screen launchers like Nova. I really suggest this app. So again, this is Joseph from Talk Android, and thanks for watching.